another lovely Saab that we've got for you, boys and girls. We've had some crackers, haven't we, this last couple of years? Obviously noticeably peaking with the uh, bangers and cash one, which was lovely to see at our live event. Went down a storm. This is a very smart looking car. Very level thing. There's a couple of tags there for you. Young Jack has taken some photographs yesterday. I'm just knocking a few videos off this morning just to try and keep the guys on track. Strange organs. Hmm. That one's looking at, guys. There should obviously be a button in there. There's not a button in there. Oh, hang on. That one's pushing down like that. That one's turning around a little bit as well. Right, I've just connected the battery. So, a bit of choke. We won't give it any throttle yet. We'll just see how she... Oh, yeah. Well, that sounds fit. Bit of history there about the car. 51 years old. The vendor, the vendor informed us he can, as far as he can tell, there's no signs of any welding. Looks quite original. He's owned the car since 2019. It says here. Well, this is sorry. I'm just going by what I've got in the car here, boys and girls. You can confirm this, and please do when you come down and actually inspect the car yourself. Like I say, I'm just going by the plaque that's in the car that you would put on display when you're in the show field. That sounds fit though, doesn't it? Yeah, that sounds fit enough. Nice period radio there as well. She's ticking over there quite happily. Lovely. And I must admit, I have to agree with that poster there. It does look very original. Right, let's gently shut that down so you can get a better idea of the car itself. I'll just shut that too because we'll park it up in a minute and then we always disconnect the batteries. Just one or two just little chips there that which you would expect wouldn't you yeah one or two little imperfections here and there but I think in keeping with the overall or oh, couple of extra tyres in there with the overall Sort of story with the car. Now I did just, as I was walking around just now, I just spotted something. Oh, that was it, there you go, there. Which you may or may not do. It's obviously had a blow in there at some point. You may address that and that's visually, those little bits there are the worst bits on the car. So you might get that addressed, the rest. I think you could live with. I'd maybe do that front panel, round them headlamps, round there. Take that wing in. And then, because this side, she sits there lovely, doesn't she? I know you have to do that door bottom. Now this side, down the door bottom there, that side, the wing, and why you've got some, uh, why you've got some paint in the gun, as we used to say float round the front there. Which is nothing mega, is it? I'm just going round with you now. Yeah. Yeah, well, you'll see yourself when you come down. The idea of these videos is just to give you another level of information regarding the car. Uh, and then you can make the decision as to whether it's worth traveling over to see us and the car, um, and then you can do your final checks on site. So that's what they are, that's what they're designed for. It's just like I say, another level of information 
and we, we try and keep a very unbiased, well, we do keep a very unbiased view. We point out the good bits, which I've done, and we point out some imperfections, which I've done, with everything in here. Uh, this building's getting quite full now. The other building's quite full. There'll be 900 lots again in a few weeks' time. So there'll be plenty to see. But in the world of Saabs, I think it's worth traveling to have a look at. And when you do, make sure you go up to the office, go through any paperwork, make sure it's one for you. Thanks ever so much.